Well, interesting times. Uh, I think all of us are aware of some of the challenges uh, that uh, Huawei is having with the U.S. government. As such, uh, they have uh, been forced to use their own app gallery. And so uh, they're not able to use the, uh, the Google web services or the Google Play Store that a lot of people would get their apps uh, from. So the good news is that uh, Huawei uh, still is uh, making some of the best uh, Android smartphones out in the marketplace right now. Their cameras are simply amazing and uh, I love using them. And uh, the great news is that it's still easy to get all your favorite uh, apps. No, there's no Google Play Store, but there are a number of ways to get your favorite Android apps uh, onto the phone. Number one, you're probably coming from an existing uh, Android phone. So you can use the phone clone feature that comes uh, uh, pre-installed with the Huawei phones uh, and you can load that onto your previous uh, Android phone uh, as well. And then there's also the Huawei app gallery and they are constantly adding new apps every single day. There's literally tens of thousands of apps uh, already in there. Are all of them in there that you want? No, but I'm going to show you today how to make that uh, simple to uh, get. By going into the Huawei gallery, uh, there is a new app that you'll want to download and it's called Petal Search and that's spelled P-E-T-A-L and I will just basically go up to the uh, search bar there, type it in and already it's starting to auto fill in and that's what we want, Petal Search, find apps and there it is and we'll want to install it and it'll go pretty quickly, bam and open it up and of course, I'm going to go through all the different permissions that it's asking me for. Make sure that you do read them so that you are uh, comfortable and secure with uh, what you are giving permission uh, for it to uh, do on your smartphone. Once it's uh, installed, this is where the, uh, the magic happens. Uh, and again, super simple to find all the apps uh, that you might be uh, missing. So what you want to do is just basically hit uh, the search bar and uh, automatically here, it's at the top going to go to top local apps. So I'm going to go hit more and this gives me a list of most of the popular apps that I am looking for. Check this all out. And it will also show me where they're coming from. There are so many different ways and that's kind of the nice thing about Android. This is running uh, Android 10 which is uh, an open source operating system that uh, again can use all these uh, different Android apps. Uh, so there's other Android stores. There's just not the Google App Store or the Huawei Gallery. Even Amazon has their own uh, App Store. So if you look at the apps, underneath the apps, it also is going to tell you where they are coming from. So you can see on some of them, uh, VLC, which is a very popular uh, video app, it uh, is native in the Huawei App Gallery. If we go down here, we can see uh, some of them, like the Amazon app is uh, web-based. So what's going to happen there, it will basically take you to the app's uh, web page. So kind of like if you're going on a desktop computer, uh, going directly to the, uh, the web page for that. And then you'll see some other ones, uh, APK Pure, and uh, there's also Aptoid. Uh, these are uh, app downloaders or different alternative app stores, and that's an important thing to remember. So I'm just going to click on this one. And here we go. So there's going to be a few uh, things that we're going to have to click through. Uh, I'm going to hit download. And it's asking if I can download this file or this APK here. And allow pedal search to install apps. I'm going to allow again. It's detected no risks, so I'm going to hit install. And we're going to open that up. So that opens it up into uh, Aptoid here. So one of the, the challenges uh, in the past uh, by downloading these apps from alternative app stores, uh, people were concerned about uh, security and making them uh, update. Uh, you know, typically when you're getting update to apps, they're updating security features. The great thing about uh, the Pedal Search app again, uh, it will actually show me what needs to be updated. Go into Pedal Search. Down at the bottom of the main screen is the me icon. I click on that. There's a download option and go in there and click on updates and they're literally all listed here. All the apps that I've downloaded into uh, the phone can be updated easily and securely. I hit update. It's now going to ask me a few uh, questions here as I go along. But again, uh, this is a, a one-stop shop for uh, updating all of the apps. Don't ask me again. Allow install 
and boom, it's doing uh, everything that I need to do. And I can go into Twitter and I'm good to go. And essentially, it's kind of that uh, easy. You got to remember that Android is used by literally hundreds of millions of people around the world. Uh, Google doesn't have a monopoly on that. There are many alternative app stores uh, out there. And the pedal search makes it super simple for you to find all of those uh, particular apps. Yes, not apps will be working uh, yet on the, uh, the Huawei phones. Uh, apps like banking apps are, are still having a challenge with that, uh, you know, as far as security. So, uh, you know, the Huawei app gallery will be updating those uh, as uh, they uh, come uh, available. But uh, in the meantime, you can get access to pretty well 90% of the, uh, the apps that uh, you uh, want to uh, use. Again, super simple to find your favorite apps. All you have to do is install the Pedal Search app and you can find that in the Huawei gallery by searching for Pedal Search. And once that's installed, you can find uh, all your favorite apps and download to your heart's content.